Hello everyone, welcome back to my YouTube channel Salesforce and this is Rohit and today I'm going to discuss about the wrapper class in Salesforce, how we can use that, how we can develop this wrapper class and how we can execute this wrapper class and why we are using this wrapper class and why we need this wrapper class. So this kind of things we can cover in this video. So guys, if you are new in this channel, so please like, share, comment, subscribe the channel. Also, you can turn on the bell icon for more updates. So you never will miss any kind of update from my site. So let's get started and don't skip any part of this video if you are learning like uh, Apex or any classes regarding this, you know, development. So don't skip any part of this video. I requested you on. Okay. So let's get started now. So first of all, let me create the new class and uh, I'm using VS Code. You can use any editor as you have. Okay. For now, it's a Salesforce recommended ID. So we can use VS Code. Okay. So let me create a new Apex class. So how we can create the Apex class? I'm using Windows. So Control Shift P and create the Apex class. So right now, let's say employee. The example is employee. And before that, let me tell you what is the wrapper class. So wrapper class basically used for, you know, user defined data types. So every class have its own data type. So every class we can say that it's a data type. And uh, wrapper class basically used for, you know, you have like uh, some complex data structure, then we have to use this wrapper class. Okay. So now let me enter the employee wrapper. Something like that. You can give any name as you want. For now, I'm telling for I'm using this employee wrapper here. This is the default path. So you can see my uh, employee wrapper here, right? Under this wrapper, let me create the two property. Let's say public string. Let's say name. Okay. And the uh, email or any age as you have. Let's say public string. Or let's say integer. I need to take integer. Let's say is right now. I need to define the constructor. So now you can see constructor, wrapper constructor of this you no know, class. Okay, so this is the constructor. So here you can see the constructor. Under this constructor, I am passing two parameters like name and age. Same thing, and uh, x is in here. So this is the wrapper class, right? So let me save this class. So you can save like this. Once you save this class, now you have to create another class because I want to execute this class using another class because wrapper is a separate class right or you can also create the wrapper class inside the your main class as well but this is the best practice make it like uh, separate of the concern rules right uh, this class is successfully deployed right let me create another class and it's time to take another class let's say control shift p under here let's say employee simple employee class okay simple employee class so now this is my employee class under this class we have to use that wrapper one right so let me create the one method inside this class so let me remove it and here we have to create the method so how we can create the method it's a static method so public static right void is never written anything so that's why let's say employee data something like that okay under this method, we have to pass our wrapper as a reference. So our wrap, uh, wrapper class name is employee wrapper. So just let me copy this one and paste it here and give the reference of this one, like employee wrapper. Okay. So here you can see this one. Okay. So for now, for your better understanding purpose, you can extract your, you know, data from the uh, wrapper like name is using employee wrapper dot name employee wrapper dot is right whenever we instantiate of this wrapper class okay so here you can see we are printing here like employee name and employee is right so let me save this and once you save this you have to deploy your uh, you know class and after the deployment you will be see this class is deployed successfully or not right so now it's deploying here and once you deploy it now you have to call this class so how to call the employee class? We cannot directly call this a wrapper class because wrapper class can contain only, you know, uh, some properties or data structure. Okay. So this is the main class like employee. And in this class, I'm just passing this employee wrapper as a parameter. And based on this parameter, we can access the, you know, 
all the data members of this class from you know this class to this class so how we can execute this employee one so you can open the execute on the nearest window and how we can do that so you have to type like employee so just you can use this class here right so our static method so static method always use with the help of class name if you want to call the static method so no need worry about like instance of this class because it's a static method so just we can call this method that is employee data using class name so my class name is employee so we have to use like employee dot and my method name so my method name this one okay so now here here and here it's asking the two parameters as a wrapper right this wrapper it's asking the wrapper parameter so wrapper parameter have to property so you have to create the instance of the wrapper first so here just let me copy this one paste it here wrapper like employee something like that or just for emp purpose we can use this one like emp wrapper under this constructor you have to define your you know property data here like name and age inside this constructor so name let's say name equal to uh, anything as you have let's say my name okay and the age equal to you can give anything as you want for you know this purpose okay and here and uh, like that okay is 20 but here this is the equal to you know relationship between them so no need worry about you have to type like a, a property name here you can directly pass like that okay this is equal to relationship between the properties and you know variables with this one okay so after that you have to pass that instance the wrapper class instance inside this method like emp okay once you pass it here let me try to save this code and once you save this code now how we can execute this code right so you can execute this code using you know how to execute this class or how to execute this anonymous code just you can select this code control c p and execute you can select the execute and in use apex code with current selected text so enter it now once you execute it immediately in the debug log in the console you can see like a debug employee name rohit and employee is 20 you can see immediately right so this is how you can work on this uh, wrapper class this is a very most important if you are working with the large amount of data structure like integrations and some you need some custom properties defined by the user and custom data type so then you can go for it this wrapper class so it will help you in your day by day development hopefully okay so guys this is all about how we can use this wrapper class in salesforce so guys if you feel like this is the more informative so guys please support me like share comment subscribe the channel also you can turn on the bell icon for more updates so you never be miss any kind of update from my side so till then, bye-bye, take care, see ya. Thank you for watching, guys. See you again. Bye-bye.